sister friends. It's Terry from Sisterhood of the Traveling Brush. And today, I'm going to flip the camera around I'm out by the pool and I'm going to paint my doormat. I really liked this doormat. Don't want to buy a new one, but it got wore out over the last year. So here we go. Got a handful of flat brushes, water holder, golden fluid acrylic, paper towel, and my Stay Wet handy palette. Love these colors, and this looks um, really dirty on here, but that's actually just the natural color of the matte coming through. And I might have could have brushed it more, but I'm just going to paint over it the way it is. We're trying to make this quick and easy. Use, let's see, probably. This dark blue, this teal, um, I think I'm going to put yellow where the white was, but because um, yellow is not very, it's kind of usually transparent, I'm going to, look his eye is yellow, and I think I'm going to make a purple. Um, for this part that was white. But I'm gonna put a coat of the white down first and we'll go from there. I think that's all we need to start with. I'm gonna paint the white areas with the uh, titanium white. Yes, they bother me. Let's just get this on real quick as a base layer. pigmented enough, but any furniture paint or acrylic paint should freshen it up, but you can use stencils on it, you can freehand, paint flowers, do whatever you want to do, or find one you like and just freshen it up like I am. We'll get another year or two out of this one now. About used all my blue paint. Now I wanted this part to be kind of a purple color, so I'm going to mix some of the ultramarine blue with pyro red and see what we come up with. That red 
is so strong. I'm gonna put some white. some of the white showing maybe. We can change them up a little bit because this was white before. And I like purple. Get another one because we want a little bit of yellow in there. Just a little. Brush. Yellow is always pretty translucent or transparent, I mean. I'm gonna put just, I know I'm gonna regret this. Let me see if I can make this be an orange color. Nope. I'll put the smallest drop of the red. Some more yellow for that beak. There we go. That's definitely more orange. I'd like to have a little of that someplace else. Take a liberty or two. It's on my brush, so why not? <laughs> of it so I'm putting a pretty good bit out there and I'm gonna mix a little bit of this white with it to extend it and shoot just a tad of this ultramarine blue in it just because just because good size brush for this let's mix it up and see what we come up with you just wanna hold you just wanna be with you till we grow old I'm not going to worry too much about those feet. I'm just going to come back in and put them later, so I'm going to cover them up. The reason this is showing back through is that these things are not painted and to be saturated all the way through. You just are painting this top layer. That's what they did, and that's what we're going to do. I just want you, I just need you, I don't know what it is you do, 
just want you, I just need you, I know what it is you do. Now I'm going to use um, carbon black, and let's hope I can outline with one of these brushes. It's hot out here. Thanks for watching. And if you paint your doormat, I would love for you to contact me on Facebook or something. Show me a picture. I'd be excited to see it. Thanks for watching.